Hey guys, we're here today checking out the new Benno Boost Speed. And this bike's totally new for 2020 and there's many great upgrades and I'm excited to show it to you. So first looking at it compared to the previous version, it's just got this like really beefy frame to it. So it's all aluminum. Riding this thing, you feel really solid. Benno, actually he was the founder of Electro, which is one of the biggest bike brands in the world. And he later came in to uh, create a brand under his own name, Benno. And a lot of the concept behind his bikes is like utility. He actually calls it utility, which is kind of a utility bike with electric assist. So it's kind of this mix between a traditional bike and a cargo bike, but this one's kind of maybe a little bit more in that cargo specific class, especially looking at this with the two seats and you just have loads of capabilities here. I wanna just talk about some of the basic updates for this year, and then we'll get a little bit deeper into the specs. They updated the frame for this year, but most notably you'll see it has a new motor. So this is the new Bosch Gen 4 speed motor, which is the exclusive motor available for this bike this year. So they're not doing the CX and the speed as they did previously, they're just doing the, the speed motor. Uh, it has the option for two batteries, this is the single one here, and then the option to add the second. And you know, the overall geometry of the bike, pretty upright, relatively comfortable, wide tires, but just um, a solid bike overall. Now the Boost is available in two different frame styles. This is the standard frame style. It's also available in a step through frame. So just dropping this top tube down a little bit lower. Now with that style, you won't have the option for the second battery, but still have the other options with the speed motor and everything else, which is really nice. Now it's also available in three different colors uh, on the standard frame. It's available in this orange, a uh, blue color, and a gray. And then the step through is available in blue and gray as well. So now 4950 for this bike with a single battery, available with a second battery as an option and really many other options for the rear rack, different attachments and front rack, all that sort of stuff. And, um, you can check that out on Benno's website. You can see it on our website, propelbikes.com as well. So for the wheels, Benno chose to go with a 24 inch setup on here, same as the previous version of the Boost. And it's got a really nice wide tire. So it's a 2.6 inch wide tire. Got some good tread to it. I'd say this is really capable for on-road, little off-road, uh, sand, that sort of thing. But they also have some other options if you wanted to have something a little bit more aggressive tread even studded tires available for winter riding, which is quite cool. And standard quick release uh, setup up front, keeps it pretty simple that way. Aluminum fenders, and they have this uh, Supernova e-bike headlight, uh, which, which works well. And it's cool that you can kind of drop the pressure a little bit on these tires and add to the comfort, because the frame is pretty stiff on here. Uh, the one other thing I'd say, you know, you can add to the comfort is if you, ended up opted for like a suspension seat post or something like that. But I think as it is, the, the bike is pretty comfortable. For the drivetrain on this bike, we have the Shimano Dior 10-speed derailleur with 11 to 42 cassette. So pretty wide range of gears, and I think it's paired well with the motor on this bike. So you'll have a low enough gear for some really good climbing and and that 11 tooth cog if you really want to get up to a pretty high speed. One other thing to note about this derailleur is pretty cool. It has this uh, shadow plus system. So if you're riding in rougher terrain, you can switch this switch up just like this and it's gonna make the derailleur a lot stiffer and it's gonna reduce uh, chain slap on the chain stay and then also make it more difficult for the chain to drop off. Now one of the details I'm very excited about is the new generation four Bosch speed motor and it's really my favorite motor on the market right now. Uh, it performs really well, loads of torque. It's got 75 Newton meters of torque, which is the same as the CX has and had previously. And so you kind of get the best of both worlds. You have a lot of torque and you also have the ability to go to that high speed. So I think that's quite nice. And Benno is really one of the few brands that implemented this for their bikes for 2020. So I think we'll see it roll out for more and more bikes in the future, but I'm really excited to have this one available. And um, I think many people will feel that way as well. But uh, 
I want to show the motor a little bit from the other side because it's not so easy to see it from here. But just to note on this side that you can see that it has the standard size chain ring. So it's kind of a one-to-one -one relationship. Previously, the Bosch motor or the Generation 2 Bosch motor has a reduction gear inside. It usually has a smaller chain ring because it rotates more than your actual pedal stroke. But uh, yeah, I'll flip that around and we'll check it out. Now you can see from this side, the motor is quite small. So they really reduced the footprint pretty dramatically um, and still retaining uh, the power, actually improving the power, which is uh, quite nice. Now the Bosch system uses a technology called pedal assist. Basically what that means is you pedal the bike and it provides assistance. It does so by using three sensors. First, there's a sensor inside that senses how hard you're pedaling. There's another sensor that senses how fast you're pedaling. And then there's one more sensor on the rear wheel which senses how fast the bike is going overall. Based on all this information, the system takes 1,000 senses per second and it's able to deliver a very seamless experience. You can adjust the settings to do no assistance and then you can go up to uh, the turbo mode, which is the top level of assistance, which gives you 340% of what you put into the bike. This bike is still available with a couple of different motor systems. It's available with the Generation 2 CX and Speed Motor at the time of this filming, and then also be available with the uh, Generation 3 performance line. So similarly, removing the reduction gear, 65 Newton meters of torque, and a 20 mile an hour pedal assist. This one has a 28 mile an hour pedal assist which is the highest speed available. So the boost comes standard with one single 500 watt hour power pack. It's a 36 volt, 13.6 amp hours and really got plenty of power. It will generally give you a range somewhere around 30 miles on average. Most people see between 20 and 60 miles depending on what assistance level you ride in, but that's gonna vary based on your terrain, weight, you know, how much cargo you're carrying and stuff like that. To remove the battery from the bike for storing or charging it off the bike, you can just use this key here. One other thing to note is that this bike actually has the hardware installed for a second battery, but it actually doesn't come standard. So this is the mount for the second battery, which a shop can install. And you're probably looking at about a thousand bucks for the hardware for the battery as, along with the, the battery. For display, we have the Bosch Purion. And pretty simple display, but it gives you all the basic information that you might need. I mean, if you wanted to, you could potentially change to a different display uh, because pretty much all the displays are compatible. So that would include the Intuvia. Uh, technically, the Kiox is not available as an aftermarket thing, but the smartphone hub is, and that's something that some people might consider. To turn the display on, you can just hit the power button here and by default, it's gonna be in the off mode. If you hit the plus button, you go into the first level of assistance. That's a 60% assistance. Tour mode is 140%, sport is 240, and then turbo is 340%, which is really dramatic. At that point, you really don't have to work much to get the bike going pretty fast. Here you also see the speedometer, so that's gonna tell you how fast you're going. You'll see the battery. That's gonna give you the average between the two batteries if you have them mounted. Right now we just have the one. If we hold the minus button down, you can cycle through some different information. You have the tripometer here, the odometer, the range is gonna show you based on turbo mode, you got six miles range. Probably wasn't really written that efficiently uh, previously because usually you should probably see a higher number there. Hold the minus button again, get back to uh, turbo mode. Now, some other things I wanna note on the display, if you wanna turn the lights on, you just hold the plus button down for a couple of seconds. And another option that you have with the display is the ability to activate what's called walk assist. Now, there's a button right underneath here. If we tap the walk button and then we hold the plus button, that's gonna activate the walk assist and push the bike along. So that's really good if you have the bike loaded up, you're, you're pushing it up a hill, or you're walking in an area that maybe you can't ride the bike, but you just don't wanna be pushing the extra weight of the bike. The, the motor can assist you in those scenarios.
For the shifter, we have the Shimano Dior 10-speed trigger shifter. And usually you don't want to shift the gears when you're not pedaling, but I just want to show you how that works. If you want it to shift down, you can actually shift three at a time if you just kind of push this all the way down. Shifting up to the higher gears, you're going to shift one at a time. But that's what they call it, a trigger shifter. For the brakes, we have the Shimano Dior two finger levers. This one got banged up a little bit. Um, wasn't my fault, I promise. Uh, but you know, pretty, uh, pretty comfortable. It's a, it's a little bit bent. It's usually uh, straighter here, but gives you an idea. And they got nice ergonomic grips. I mean, that's one of the things about the bike overall. It's just got a really nice uh, ride position. Got nice upright bars and slight sweep to them with a nice wide saddle. So it gives you a really upright, comfortable ride position. And that's something that kind of Benno has been known for even before uh, he got into creating these bikes. For the brake calipers, we have the Shimano Dior hydraulic calipers, dual piston, two piece rotors on here. So 180 in the front and 160 in the rear. So another really exciting update for Benno is all the new accessories that they're showing. Now, this is the new rear rack for the 2020 bike. And one of the exciting things about this is you can fit two seats. So this has the Yep seat with the easy fit adapter in the front and the Yep seat with the next adapter in the rear, but it's compatible with both styles. And it gives you a lot of flexibility because maybe you're using one on another bike or whatever the case may be, and you can move them around. So I really appreciate that they did that. And on top of that, you also have capabilities to uh, run like different bars around. You have uh, different seating positions if you want to carry, you know, small adults or bigger kids or that sort of thing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed checking this bike out. I'm really excited about it. It's already been quite popular. We have a bunch of these on pre-order already. And uh, I think with the specs of the bike and all the options, it's going to work for a lot of people. It's a, it's a great bike for a lot of different things. If you have any questions about this bike or just bikes in general, you know, just leave them in the comments below or just reach out. Uh, I'm always happy to help. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. All right, see you soon.